Good evening, it's Kuro. Got a ranked game in my Ostergotland. Going over the matchmaking, the enemy team has a Lexington, a couple fat boats, Buffalo, Hipper, and Neustrashimi. The map is Islands of Ice. It's three cap domination, and we're going to start this one off. Um, so, right out of the gate, 1DD matchmaking with a CV. It's really going to dictate a lot how, how the, the game's going to unfold. You're not going to have nearly as much spotting, and HP on your DDs are critical. Uh, it's domination, your DDs are your best cappers. Um, so getting that, that good early trade on, on DDs is going to be huge. And that's something that, you know, that's on the CVs generally to, to find those DD, that DD early on and get that good trade. Now I'm going to play a little bit of cat and mouse game here. Uh, I've got the enemy Lexington pushing in here. You see, I just slam on the brakes. This Lexington, he's doing a good job. He's pushing in here. He spots the Buffalo, the Chapayev. And he's just going to skirt right around, keeping these guys detected for his team to take pot shots at. Now I could have popped AA, exposed myself. Um, I chose not to, but I'm pretty sure the enemy team is would be pretty confident that seeing cruisers in a battleship push this aggressively, there's the destroyers in front of those guys. So some lessons for the game uh, gonna talk a bit about the positioning for uh, the European Union destroyers uh, since you don't have smoke that's gonna change your positioning uh, a bit and also for whatever reason wargaming deciding these boats need to have better AA than most cruisers it opens up a lot of and there's there's a big hit right there from uh, my CV on the on the enemy Neustrashimi uh, Neustrashimi does have a lot of HP that it can play with uh, so that's not the that's by far not the end of it um, but with that nice hit I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna duck into the cap even though I know planes are coming these planes they're not gonna last for long between uh, the Buffalo, my AA, and the FDG AA. I want to get aggressive, get on this cap early, and start getting some cap pressure on the uh, on the enemy team. The enemy team is about ready to flip B cap. Now, I did evade the first shots. I am going to take more shots here. Uh, I'm mainly concerned right now with trying to keep. Uh, the CV off my Buffalo as much as possible. Um, I'm still pretty safe. You can see I can recover most of that HP. Again, my my CV is just picking apart this Neustrashemi. This this poor guy. He I don't think he has an idea how to uh, how to angle to the CVs to mitigate the damage, and I'm just gonna abuse that. So torpedo boats. Um, one of your jobs, especially with a, something that loads really fast like the European DDs, flood those smoke screens with torps. Don't let the uh, the enemy DDs, you know, set up uh, the stage where their team can trade efficiently uh, against your teammates. Unfortunately, Mr. Buffalo, I don't have a smoke screen. That's why I'm hanging back here with you, shooting down planes because that's the only way I can really help you in this scenario aside from my torpedoes coming out and that's that's one of the that's one of the positions that you're gonna you're gonna want to play in a European DD uh, you're, you're typically gonna want to play back a little bit more uh, hang out with your team help them out with uh, AA you know try to prevent the CV from just you know burying them it, with strike after strike, um, you know that that alone can save your team a huge amount of damage over the course of the battle. 
Um, you're not gonna you're not gonna generally nuke stop a strike cold. You know, one strike's gonna get through, but it's uh, it's something. And you can see the CV's he's coming back. Well, I'm coming back out here. Got another smoke screen. Dropping the uh, dropping those smoke screens off now, or filling those smoke screens with torps. Now I'm gonna take a calculated risk here. One, I've got a good amount of HP on the enemy Neustra shimmy, and two, I'm concerned about my buffalo being overexposed here. I want to try to draw some of the fire from the enemy team because, as you can see, I can make most uh, most players miss quite a bit and all of those shots missing that shots not hitting my FDG not hitting my Buffalo and at the same time it's more DPM out trying to put down the enemy battleship here I do pop my repair here I'm, I'm trying to hang in here trying to get the kill this guy is desperately trying to get behind the island he just repaired my fire trying to do what I can to, to get that kill and just not gonna be able to get it he gets behind this island and uh, kind of is what it is now my torpedoes running through that smoke that was that pretty much broke the back of this flank the hipper eating all those torps um, along with I think I actually got a piece of the Neustra shimmy um, it's uh, they don't have any more HP on this flank. Their their battleship just went down. The Hipper's running. The Neustra Shimmy. I've got more HP than the Neustra Shimmy. Um, so I'm going to just hang around here at A Cap and be the bully. Um, one of the the lessons with torpedo boat positioning, you don't necessarily want to hang out in line with your battleship you see my fdg pushing up he's gonna start dueling this georgia here i'm trying to help him out with uh, uh with planes right now so he doesn't have to deal with the planes but i'm gonna make a quick push out here and uh get involved in this brawl between my fdg and this georgia because there's no such thing as a fair fight so the planes are shot down, popping my speed boost, gonna push out here. If I encounter the Neustra Shimmy, I'm just gonna try to gun him down. Uh, but my intent right here, you know, uh, got this Georgia and FDG brawl going on. I just wanna wanna open up another angle of attack on, uh, on this Georgia. And if you want to get a lot more consistent torpedo opportunities like this where you're torping into the broadside of your targets pay attention where your battleships are and get a little bit of separation from them uh, it doesn't have to be much I mean that FDG is like eight kilometers away from me but it opens up an entirely another angle of attack that uh, that you can use to pretty good effect now you saw the Neustra Shimmy just gun down my my FDG. He's in that smoke right up there. And I'm just gonna play chill here. I don't wanna roll with my team and go all heavy to, to one flank uh, because this Neustra Shimmy may try to circle around, try to back cap us. And I, I don't want to get into a cap race. We've got a lot of points here. Uh, we can just play chill. And I'm not liking what I'm actually seeing on the other flank with uh, my Jean Bart, my Georgia. They're all pushing up here and just trying to like bow tank behind this island. That's That CV is going to be coming for these guys. And unfortunately, like my teammates out here at A early on in the game they didn't have me to harass the CV so you know, life's gonna start getting much tougher down here in the in the east so I'm just doing some circles out here I see the buffaloes coming back so you know what if the buffaloes coming out coming back you know I'll join the buffalo and we'll push through here and 
will just sweep this area clear. That way, if I if I do bump into the Neustrashimi, and Neustrashimi, he pops up for some reason, he just gave up this flank, and I think that that's a, that's a critical mistake because 852 points, your capping vessel back here, uh, how, how are you controlling your points? Yes, you, you're short on HP, but you need to, you need to be able to, to try to influence something. Um, and I think that that's a, that's a strategic mistake there that, uh, you know, one of the other, uh, one of the other signs that, uh, you know, this battle is just going to be a win. So waiting for this battleship to shoot, then I'm going to open up. Honestly, I'm playing too passive here. I see that the battleship takes a hit. I just go on ahead and try to get him off the board. He ends up going down, and uh, this game's going to end here shortly, as soon as my buffalo puts down the uh, the hipper. So this game, not a lot of damage, but some good technical stuff just to... just good destroyer stuff that uh, teaching you defending caps, how to be using your torpedoes, um, you know, creating crossfire with your battleships, a lot of, a lot of basic stuff that it all adds up to wins. And everybody likes to win. There's the kill on the hipper. And we're going to win this one out on points. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Hope you're having a good night. And I will talk to you later.